Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We have a completely different kind of video today. So one, I'm in my kitchen. Two, I'm with my brothers. Yay! Yay. Do you want to introduce? Myself? Yeah, go on. They know me. They might not know you. Alright, so I'm Robbie. I'm Hayden. Wynn. Monk family. So today, we are doing a little mukbang. Um, but we are also trying this Japanese ramen box. So you're probably thinking like, this has no relevance to your channel whatsoever. Um, I got an email mm, quite a while ago now asking me if I wanted to try this Japanese ramen. It's like a subscription box. You can sign up to it and then every month you get a different box full of all different ramen. And especially Hayden. But they, you both, do you both like ramen? Yes, alright. Hayden like loves ramen and Rob's just like, mm, yeah. I so love Wagamama. <laughs> yeah, Hayden loves Wagamama. So when I... Sponsor us. When I got this email about trying ramen, I thought it would be a perfect opportunity to film with them because they love ramen and it just made me laugh because it's different and they love ramen. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we have a whole box here full of all different... I can't read it because it's in... But, like, would you say, like, mm -hmm. two ramens or ramen? Two. Style of ramen. Two different styles of yeah. ramen. We've got a glamorous assistant helping us out today. Yeah. Thanks, Dad. This is the box that it came in, and it comes with a little thing, and it says, "Thank you for your subscription, dear ramen lover. We really appreciate your subscription to Japan Ramen Box." Can I shout out their Instagram? Yeah, go on. Uh, so their Instagram, if you want to get some ramen, is Japan Ramen Box. That's it, and if you want to find them on Facebook, then it's just Japan Ramen Box. I have a list on my phone of all the different ramen. Um, obviously, it's all in Japanese, so we can't read that, but we have a list of all the different ramen and how to cook them. We are just going to get cracking. We also have some Diet Cokes, because if we're doing a mukbang, we've got to have the drink and everything like that. So this is like a mukbang slash... Um, ramen tasting, yeah, and then we've also got some questions to answer, so it's a little bit of everything in this video. So I hope you enjoy. Should we start with that one? It's basically pork, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it just says it's got a pork base, so we can't actually pronounce the name of this one. I <laughs> didn't know. Anyway, this one just says flavors that are sure to tickle your taste buds. Only found at select 7-Elevens in Japan. We're bringing this unique flavour straight to your home. So this is what this one looks like. Wait, um, can I show it to the camera? Yeah, go on then. You may hear the right. kettle. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know we might have just stopped and start. We'll be back once we have our ramen. This one sounds really good. But also, inside the box is all Japanese newspaper, but like actual... I just think that's really cool. Look. Yeah, oh my god, look, we've got like... We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to try. So it's time for the first ramen. I know in like a normal mukbang you have all the food. The next ones that we're going to try, we're going to have two at once so then we can like compare them. It's just a little bit of trial and error because Ooh. we've never done a video like this. Thanks glamorous should assistant. We, should we wait? Oh it's not in the shot. Hang on let's put it down a little bit. Okay, so this is the first the first ramen. It looks then. really good. Okay, so it's quite a big one, to be honest. I might do it with a fork. Oh, yeah. Do you want to do it with a fork? This one's a pork one. You know that for sure. Oh, he's in. <laughs> really good. Mm. Is it? Mm. It tastes like beef kind. <laughs> <laughs> Woody wants some. Right. What no. are you Oh! Mmm! I'm gonna have some of the chicken. It's pork. Oh. Can you try it? What do you think, Rob? Solid 10 out of 10. Really? I like it. Wait! Is Ooh. it 10 out of 10? I'm spraying it everywhere. I would say... A nine or a ten. Ooh. Nine and a half. Nine and a half. We're starting off strong. I like the beef flavour. That's 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 a good sign. Good sign, although it's pork. I just grab the noodles. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a bit noodles. like pork. pork. Yeah, that's what I meant. The noodles taste like a bit like pork. Mm. Oh no, I like that actually. It's like a noodle soup, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, really nice. Sorry. I've got a really nice flavour to it. I'm gonna have some more. Yeah, yeah we're starting off strong on that one. 
Can we finish it off after this video? I'm not sure about the pork itself because obviously it, it tastes and like the texture of it is quite like artificial. The flavour and the noodles and the sauce goes well. Very nicely. Yeah. What do you real? Mmm. Well. <laughs> I think it's hard to compare it because it's our first one. Yeah. But I'm gonna give it a good eight, I reckon. I reckon nine and a half because the flavours are good. <coughs> yeah, oh, go on. Hayes' chopstick skills are really good. Well, it's kind of hard with noodles because it's not like. Oh. You like that one, didn't you? Yes, it's very good. Hey, we've got about 10 nuggets to try. <laughs> okay, first one, thumbs up, success. Oh, well well done, Raymond. Yeah, let's go. Uh -huh. What is that side of the cat dish? So the next one we are going to try is this one. It's called a Makashingara no, no Miso Ramen. <laughs> this translates into traditional ramen, tonkostu based ramen, which that was the first one that we tried, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. That was a tonkostu based ramen. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering these names. Um, but it also features a mix of red and white miso. This ramen is the... Basically, this one is what true traditional ramen is supposed to taste like. So we're going to try this one next, but we're going to do two at a time this time. So we're going to try this one, and should we do this one at the same yes. time? Uh, so, but I can't say it, I'm sorry. It's eggs cook chukka soba. Chukka soba. This one, it says, don't worry about flavours and seasonings with this ramen. They've already added garlic and ginger to make sure the broth is both delightful and filling. Okay, the broth is like the soup stuff, isn't it? So this is quite a popular one. So we are going to hand these over to our glamorous assistant. I can see why they have a pig on this. This is what they look like. Oh yes. There you go dad. ASMR. ASMR. Yes dad. Get the close up. Right let's get on to our Q&A part of the video. Which is your favourite Halloween or Christmas? Christmas. Wait, Halloween or Christmas? Yeah. yeah. Christmas? Yeah. Christmas. Easy Christmas. The reason I chose Christmas is because we live in England, if you couldn't tell, and uh, Halloween isn't really a big deal over here. Yeah. And Christmas yeah. is like family time. Yeah, Christmas is just Christmas. Mm -hmm. and, and it's really cosy, and you get to just drink hot chocolate and then sing <laughs> Christmas songs because it's so yeah, no, definitely Christmas, a hundred percent. What's your favourite thing to do in Bristol together? Um, there's not that much to do. There's so much to well, do. Yeah. I think it's tricky, obviously, because I'm in London. We do. But, like, obviously in holidays we spend a lot of time together. I like, I like, I like the mall's quite good. Yeah, we, yeah. <laughs> we go shopping a lot in the mall. Um, walking our dog. Walking the dogs. Because there's loads of nice parks and places. Yeah, Air Hop is, yeah, is Air a Hop. big trampoline park. I used to work there, but we like doing that together. Anymore. Yeah, there's so many like, activities like bowling. We went, we bowling, went bowling, yes. bowling last night. Yeah, yes. bowling. Yes, uh, cinema. Three. Cinema. Yeah. yeah, we like going to the cinema actually. Um, but obviously, we there's seven years between us. Um, so it's only recently that we've been able to do like a lot more stuff together. They're nearly 13 and I'm nearly 20. So. Yeah, and also the Roman baths are something to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, 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 not, that's not in a... That's not in a... <laughs> in Bristol, that's yeah. in Bath. Let's yeah. some more questions. Let's oh. some more questions. After we had our After ramen. we have our next ramen. Wait, just one more question. Ramen. Okay, fine, fine. It says, does your brother like having an older sister, but it's supposed, it's brothers, but I only said that me and Hayden were filming it because I wasn't sure Aww. if Rob was filming it. So do you like having an older sister? Yes. Yes, we're good. But I would prefer an older brother. At all, but, my. Yeah. But yeah. Then I can have an older brother. I like having someone to lean back on. Hello? <laughs> They love it really. Would you want to join us? Hi Woods, yeah. hi. Hello. <laughs> okay, so here are the next two ramen. Oh, look at that. Oof. 
Thank, Thank you, glamorous assistant. I'm going to Japan. Japan so, that looks nice. That one does look very full, so I have to be careful. So, this is the one that was the most um, common. common. Yeah. I actually really enjoy ASMR. This, look, this looks like um, hot noodles. Oh. I'm a bit. Okay, let's try not to get these everywhere. Right, can we have this one for <gasps> the bubbles? I think we need a, a fork. Oh my god, this is so hard. Ooh, right, what are you thinking? I can see why they eat this every day, be, like common, because you wouldn't really, like, you wouldn't get really sick of this because it's just normal ramen. Is it? Does it taste like a normal. Yeah. This one I can taste, I think this one had like the ginger in and stuff, and I can actually taste that. Can you taste it? It's got like a bit of a different taste, Rob. Mm. It tastes like. I, yeah, I can taste the ginger, definitely, 100%. It's quite nice though. Mm. I don't like ginger, but that's pretty nice. It's a bit watery, but that may just be the, chef. the chef's concern. The chef's addition. Ah, got some gravy on my Quite face. a bit extra water. But. Is that gravy? Oh no, I, I said it was a gravy. It's the, it's the broth. Is that it? What's that? What does broth mean? Like the soupy. Stuff, isn't it? You are such a pro. You're putting that to shame. I have to be honest. Is this yeah. what? Yeah. Be careful. That's yeah. Ooh. Shall I drink some of the? Can I? Can I try? Yeah. Nice. Well, that is nice. Yeah, you can drink it as soup. Fun mm -hmm. fact. Fun fact. You can drink it as well. <laughs> oh, what are you thinking of that one? Oh, this one looks nice. That's is really good. It has a lot of good flavors. Oh. It's like normal ramen, so I guess that's why it's pretty common in Japan. Mm. Yeah, I, I'm liking this. I give this a mm. ten. Really? <laughs> this one's actually really good. I feel like I've tasted one like this before, like your sushi or something. So th this is a ten out of ten. Great, great flavor. Just great everything. This is just. Is that your favorite one? I I felt I feel like we started strong, but um. That is like I will give that one um uh, eight. Because I mean it was good, but I'm not a huge fan of ginger, so yeah, that's probably why I'm wearing it quite now. I'm hot. Ooh. Yeah, don't worry, I still. I oh still, yeah, that is a nice. I one. like this one. I would give this one like nine and a half. Oh, what's this? Oof, don't know. What do you reckon that is, Dad? Pork. Pork. That's the meat again. It looks like. Do you that. think pork's the most? Is pork the most common thing to have in ramen? I give it. I don't know. The most. We're hot. Yeah, I, I really like this one. Like I'm just gonna some I still think the first one's my favourite. Now this one's the best. Actually, Can I like that one the best? Yeah, it is. I feel like the first one had a bit more flavour. I really like this one. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna give this yeah. one nine and a half, and I'm gonna give that one like a nine. Well, it's, this one's good, but it tastes like it's like common. It just right, like okay. Normal. Yeah. So that one. What did I give the first one? An eight. I changed the first one to a nine. I give that one a seven. A seven? Wow. Mm, a seven, maybe seven point five. And I give that one maybe a five. I think if it wasn't so watery. No, I really like this one. Also, just because it's not watery because of there. Yeah, no, oh yeah, yeah, it's not. I think it was chefs added extra of the bit of a bit extra of um, water. Free tickets to Japan. If you can't tell that Hayden hasn't eaten anything, anything all day. <laughs> no, I really like ramen. So. He's been saving himself. Yeah, he has been saving himself. Should yeah. we do the next three then finish on that one? Yeah. So, if you can hear us over the kettle, <laughs> so we're going to try three next. We're going to try this yellow one, which is Mukashingara no Sayo Shayo. Ramen. So this one is a salt ramen that is produced Ooh. a bit differently from the other instant ramens. You might like this one because it's salty. Oh, I don't. Let's go, Demo. I've never had one like that, so I think it'll be interesting. Next one we are trying is Sanaoshi Shoya Shoyu Ramen. Combining the best of both worlds, this ramen features both shoyu and tonkastu which was the the other one that we tried in one in one soup so pork must be the thing that goes with ramen so this is the next one eh? 
Would you use Cardi trying to eat the box? You like the ramen. <laughs> Second to last one that we are trying is, um, this is another tonkostu. This is another one of those. I'm getting to know my ramens now. This takes the speedy aspect of an instant ramen once. Can you not chew the box? It, it cooks in 90 seconds. Ooh, that's very quick. Ooh. Okay, let's do another question. What is the worst argument that you've had with each other? I don't um, know. Can't remember. I don't, the thing is, we don't, like, argue. We just annoy each other. Yeah, yeah. It's more so, than argue. Yeah, yeah, about. I remember when Nina was, like, 15 and then she was, like, really rusty. I went into her room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, if she went into her room and she was doing her homework, she whacked you with a book. <laughs> you are such a, a liar. <laughs> You're <laughs> such a liar. Um, I think just when they like either act up with each other or like something that annoys me because I think because of like the age difference is where like the like immaturity level lies so I th we don't really argue we just get irritated so yeah. that's that okay so the kettle is going but we're gonna we're gonna go ahead anyway um, if you were stuck on a desert island for a week, what one food item and one normal everyday item would you choose if you were stuck on a desert island for a week? Oh, that's nice. Ooh, is that Wi-Fi? No. Oh, okay, so I bring like, okay, so for my object, I bring uh, like the red flare thing that you shoot into the sky. What thing? You know that red flare thing like where you yeah, shoot it up in the sky like a firework. So, like, so people can see where you are? Yeah, like rescue. I'll bring I bring you. ramen now. <laughs> uh, would you actually bring ramen? You probably would, wouldn't you? I would actually. Hayden um, would bring um, ramen and one of the things that shoots in the sky. A what? A flare. A flare. Oh, that was very practical. I, have I would bring my phone as an object so that I can just play games. And for the food, I would probably. Oh, that's hard. Also, but if you had your phone, if you got it like every day, it would run out of battery. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But, oh yeah. Because did you actually, bring two objects? I was. I, wait, two objects. Somewhere. One item and then one food item. I'd bring a survival pack, so I know how to survive, <laughs> like catch and fish and stuff. And for my object, I'd probably get some cheeky nandos. Okay, well, I'm not really sure if a survival kit is cheating, but we'll go with it anyway. My one item would be... Oh, yeah, I do. My one item would be a camera so I could vlog it all. <laughs> my battery just died again whilst I was midway through answering that question. So my answer would be a camera so I could vlog it all because I think it would be hilarious if I was only there for a week. And my food item would be... The first thing that came to my head was mashed potato. Ooh. I'm just gonna get up what this one is. Oh, this no. this is this one is the 90 seconds. Need a fork. This one's actually really good. This I one's fork. the 90 seconds speedy one. Run. Right, move that one over. Ooh. So this is the combining both of shoyu and tonkostu in one soup. What are we thinking? This one. I swear it feels like a different texture. Yeah, the noodles look different. And then that one, I think, is the salty one. Mm. So, let's... Oh, that's quite nice. Let's dig in. Oh. That wasn't what I would expect. I quite like the noodles of that one. Mm. This one's alright. That no. one's the combination of two, this one. What do you think of that one? That's the salty one. I'm not that good. I think I don't really like the, like the water. Either. I've never had something like this. No, that's like a different noodle, noodle type. Ah, I don't really like that flavor. If I'm do you know? Should we swap? Hang on. Um, yeah. What's that's, that one? This one is the ninety second speedy one. So if I'm ever in a hurry, I'll yeah. Have this. Those noodles are thicker and like softer. Mm. Mm. 
I feel like this is a bit like barbecue. Do you? They're really thick. I like them. <laughs> this tastes. You know what this tastes of? Yeah. What? This tastes of um, barbecue hula hoops. Does it? Um, I like these. These are really good. Mm -hmm. These are really good. They're really thick and very nice. So. Yeah, the a solid 11 out of 10. Really? Are they your favourite ones? Yeah, 11 out of 10. These were. That does taste like barbecue hula hoops. These were okay. These were quite thin, but yeah. I think that's. I don't really like that thin because I'm looking for thick. I'm going to rate them out of 6. These are quite good. I like the They're quite five. plain. Yeah, but plain. Then I like the flavour. They're quite plain. My battery keeps dying, which is so frustrating, but Rob's gone to the toilet. It's having a quick toilet break. They like melt in your mouth a bit. Really? I'm these are, these ones would be good if you like had your braces tightened and you can't chew. These are my favourite ones. So oh Japan box, what's it called? Japan Diamond Box. Send me all of these, right? Send me like ten of them. These ones have got um, some like seeds in them. Yeah, that's why I didn't really like them because of the seeds. Um. Let's give the table a little wipe. You have the biggest one to last, this is this one. I hope it's good. This one. Yeah, I hope we finish. I hope we finish on a high note. Is this the same as the first one? That's the first one. Oh, maybe it's the same but with chicken. Maybe, yeah, maybe it's a different meat. Ooh. Okay, so let's answer another question whilst we wait for let's do a couple the people. last Raman. What would your brother like to be when he grows up? So what would you both I like would, to be? I don't know. Like I, 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 I might want to You're do. still not I'm in sorry. the so, video. Sorry, I would either want to be a cook, a, well, what Dina does, like a YouTuber, or... Oh, I thought you were going to say, like, <laughs> musical theatre then. I thought, mm. And, yeah. Yeah, I just like, because I, I like cooking. So... We were talking about this today because yeah. we went on a dog walk this morning, so... First, I may want to be a vet. Yeah, because you like animals. I may want to be a nurse or a doctor. Oh. Third one, uh, animator. And fourth one, uh, designer. Nice. <laughs> well, you're you're good. At, you're both good at cooking, but you you like you enjoy cooking, don't you? And you're good at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you're good at the animation and all of that kind of thing. But that's the answer to that one. What's been your favourite memory together? My so basically, my favourite memory is when on Christmas Eve, yeah. What we always do, yeah, it's a tradition. Us three, yeah, we go into Dina's room because it's the biggest room. And it's then, not anymore. Well, I have a big room, but I like Dina's room better. And then we just have a sleepover. And it's we great. do. And we eat a lot of fish food. And then we wake up stupidly early. Yeah, so five. Yeah, 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 on five. Christmas Eve, um, we always stay in my room. And then, but we've done that for like years now. There is my Christmas Day vlog that I vlogged last year. I think there's a clip With of. With our onesies. Yeah, there's a clip of me and Hayden like chucking something at Rob because he wouldn't wake up. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, all of our holidays are always very good. I don't know what, but when we went to Disney, Disney there, yeah, Disney's quite a good memory. We're going there this week, so yeah. We are going well, to okay. Disney. Yeah. Prefer. Look out for the Disney vlogs. Yeah. I'd Have you got anything? I would agree with like holidays and Christmas. And oh no, also, I don't know if this is related to the question, but on Christmas, like in, we have it in our living room and like Dina's presents are on like one side and then it's mine. Yeah, and then on, on the other side. Oh. <laughs> oh no, I can't. I can't. <laughs> I won't include that. Once again, the battery died. But when they both did rock and roller coaster when we went to Disney and that was fun. And also we were all very happy. Also, we have swapped. Oh, sorry. We have swapped to my vlogging camera because my Canon just was not cooperating. Right, okay, on to the last ramen. So sad. Apologies if the lighting looks different or whatever. Mm. Ooh. That is so hot. Mm. Mm. <laughs> That's quite hot. You all right? I'm gonna try the meat. You know, I think I prefer the meat in this one. Mm. Oh, the assistant's bringing over all the ramen so you can compare. They actually have noodles, so yeah, they can. 
This one was the first one. And it was a decent one. I can't They're like remember. thinner noodles. So I rated it. Oof. But this, this one's the best one. Right. My favourite noodles. We just tilted at the camera down to try and get all the ramens in shot. So also, this is the current one that we're trying. I do like this one. Have you tried the meat? No. What, what is it? It's quite nice. I'm not sure. I think it's like a chicken. What's that? Thing. That's fine. Ah. Okay. I still think the first one is my favourite. This one's the best one. That one. You still like the instant one, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. No, I like the thick one. Like, okay, it's just really like nice. I don't know why. It's good to eat. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's good to like slurp. <laughs> mm. This is the first one. It's actually gone a bit cold now, but this one is still definitely my fave. I'll leave all the links if you are interested down below. I actually think I it's a good system. I highly suggest you get it. It's very good. Yeah. Well, I was a bit skeptical because I'm I'm not like I'm not a ramen connoisseur. Well, kind what of. would I say? I'm not a. No. I don't eat a lot of ramen. You guys, or well, Hayden, definitely eats more ramen than I do. But I really wanted to do this video so we could try it. But we actually didn't have a bad a bad one. Yeah, they were all very nice. They, they were all were very nice. So Rob's favourite was this one. The 90 second instant one. My favourite was definitely the first one. And what was your favourite? The, the one with the ginger? Yes. I thought it tasted quite good. Okay, so that is the end for our mukbang slash ramen tasting video. I do hope you enjoyed it. It's something a bit different I for my channel. I but highly suggest you get... Yeah, I really recommend it. If you are a fan of ramen, I definitely recommend it. I will leave... like food. Yeah. I'll leave all the links to everything and where you can find the box, where you can sign up, where you can get, um, get, yeah. get everything. I will leave all that down below if you're interested. Thank you so much to Japan Ramen Box for sending me their subscription. And, and it. we give it a thumbs up. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for my brothers for being you're on welcome. my channel. You are very welcome. Thank you for we having me. We haven't filmed a video in quite a while. I no, we haven't. Know. So yeah, if you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, I will see so. you in my next video. Bye. See you guys. Bye. 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 That was fun. That was well, fun. Well done, you guys. Thank you, Dina. Thank you, you guys rock. I was good on my own. That's the way it was. That's the way it was. You was good on the love for a fake fuck. I'm so afraid of love.